Hello and welcome. My name is Debbie Reed. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little card with two of two stamp sets. We're going to be using the Merry Moose and the Winter Woods. This one's in the annual catalog. This one's in the new holiday catalog. Okay, let's get started. Uh, we're going to be needing a piece of Mary Merlot cardstock that's um, our base, that, that will be uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. We're going to also be using these six by six. Um, these are also in the holiday catalog. This is uh, the Feels Like Frost uh, paper pack. Beautiful papers. There's um, the silver foil and white on the back of all of them. Beautiful, beautiful realistic sceneries on all of them. Okay, then we're going to be using a piece of four and a quarter by five and a half Whisper White cardstock, and then we're gonna use three extra pieces of Whisper White. One will be to stamp a tree, one will be to stamp the moose, and one will be to stamp the sentiment. All right, let's get started with our stamping. The very first thing we're going to do is create the top piece. We're going to use an oval die. We're gonna put the oval die just somewhere on the top, usually leaving about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch. And then after we're done die cutting it, we're going to use the Falling Softly embossing folder. If you don't have this folder, you could use anything. So once the hole is on there, then you're going to just run this through. We're gonna run this through the Big Shot right now. And this is what you will end up with. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is decide where you want your photo to be. So you can, you know, make your own judgment. Once you decide where you want it to line up, then you're going to cut a strip of paper off of the sheet <clears throat> approximately two and a half inches wide. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, now <clears throat> the easiest way to put this together is to flip this over and this is such a simple card to make let me get back into the video screen here okay i'm going to line this up where i want it and that looks good to me maybe a little more tree okay i'm going to flip this over and then we're going to just use basic scotch tape and tape on the sides. Normally I use Mono Tombow Blue. Today we're going to just be using the Snail Runner. It's going to be a lot easier. Now the next thing, we are going to just cut the excess off of this. You don't have to be really careful because, well you do, you don't want to come down below the oval. Okay, card's almost done. This is so simple. Okay, now we're going to take our card base, we're going to fold it in half, and we're going to use our bone folder to give it a nice crease. And then we're going to use our snail. We're going to just run this down the side, across the bottom, up the side, and then down the middle. The reason we're using the snail and not the Mono Tombow is this foil will blister if you use the Mono Tombow. So I'm gonna line this up. Just like that. Okay, that part's done. Now we're going to use our little spare pieces. We're going to stamp our tree, we're going to stamp our moose, and we're gonna stamp our sentiment. So the tree, the ink colors that we're gonna be using, cherry cobbler for the sentiment, soft suede for the mousse. Uh, we're using memento black ink and we're using mossy meadow ink. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is the memento black for the mousse. Going to ink him up. This mousse is so adorable. 
like this so you can see. Okay. Then there's a second stage to the mousse. It's the solid. So this one, this one has the texture, the details of the mousse, and then this one's the solid coloring of the mousse. So we're going to stamp that in soft suede. And I might have to get my head in here. I don't know. We'll see if I can line this up. And he lines up pretty easy. Let's see. Like that. Okay, perfect. And now we are going to stamp. I don't think I... Let's see, let's do the sentiment. We're gonna do the sentiment in Cherry Cobbler. Okay, and then we need a little scarf. I didn't get that out of the box yet, so. Let's get his little scarf. We're going to stamp it in green, just the garden green. I just like the contrast colors. And I didn't bring that. Let me just grab that real quick. Okay. I'm going to just ink this little scar. I'll stamp that just right up here. And now what I do just to give a little more detail to the scarf, I just use a white ink pen, and I'm just going to do little dashes on the bottom just to give his scarf a look of fringe on the bottom. And then we're going to fussy cut the scarf out, but we're going to punch our little Mary Moose. We're going to use the punch. And he lines up really easy as well. So we're gonna just get him centered in here. It takes just a second, but okay, there we go. Punch him out. And then we're gonna fussy cut the, the scarf. I'm not going to have you watch me cut the scarf out. I actually pre-cut a scarf. So, we're going to, um, whenever you're using the tape runner, I always use the silicone mat, and that way you're not getting glue on everything. So we're going to just use the, the tape runner and just put a tiny bit of tape on the scarf, and then we're going to just put this on the mousse, just like this. Cute, right? Now our mousse is done. Now we're, go we're going to cut out the sentiment. And this is actually done with the stitched rectangle die right here. And the stitched rectangle die is in the, or in the annual catalog. And we are going to be using this tiny little die right there. The smallest one in this set. So when you line this up, I just put the happy all the way to the end because we're going to flag the sentiment so that it so that it has a flag. Okay, so you're going to end up with this and then we're going to just cut the end and then we're going to go from the corner to where we cut in the center to the corner. And there you have your flag. So now we have two pieces done for our card. This is actually so simple. And then we're going to take our stamp from the Winter Woods and we're going to ink it in Mossy Meadow. And that's going on this piece right here. Give it a nice three second hold just so the ink transfers. Beautiful. And 
then we're going to use the die. Let me see. And we're going to die cut the tree out. This lines up pretty simple too. So we're gonna just put the die on there. And I will be right back and cut that out. And now we have our beautiful tree. Okay, now it's time to just assemble this cute little card. So the first thing we're going to do is take our tree and I'm cutting the bottom. Just cutting this because it's going, to, we're gonna have, oh, you know what, I messed up already. I forgot to put the ribbon on. So we're gonna have to fake this through. Normally I tuck the ribbon under. This will be fine. We're gonna use our silicone mat again and we're going to put tape on the ribbon. Get a little ahead of myself sometimes. Okay, we're going to put this on the card. About a quarter of an inch from the bottom. Let's get that straight, okay. And now, because I messed up, I need to cut this off. And then we will cut it off at this side as well. Okay. And then we can now put our card together. So we're going to take because this is going to sit up here and I don't want the sentiment, I don't want this tree to be hanging over underneath the sentiment. So we're gonna just take our scissor and we're going to cut the bottom of this tree straight across. And then we're going to put dimensionals on the back of the tree. You can glue it flat or put the dimensionals, but the dimensionals just give it a little extra pop. And I like that. Okay, and now we're going to take the tabs off. Okay, one more. Okay, and then we're going to just place this on the card. I like to line it up on this oval edge just so that it I don't know. And then I line it up with the stitching on the tree. And then what I do is I cut this edge of the tree also because I don't like it hanging over on this side. It's your call, you don't have to do that. And then we're going to put some dimensionals on the mousse, just two of them. This card really does go quick and easy. I've mass produced several for my class, so hope they like it. I'm gonna line him up on the bottom of the ribbon. And then we're gonna take our little happiest of holidays. We're going to also put some dimensionals on it, three of them. And one more. Okay. And then we're gonna be using glitter. I don't know if you can see the glitter on the card or not, but the glitter just helps it pop. Now I'm gonna just line this up to this edge and put that down. Then we're going to take some snowflakes and I already pre-die cut three of them. We're gonna get our silicone mat again because it's great for gluing. Instead of gluing these and getting a glue mess, I just use the silicone. We'll do this one first, or not the silicone. I use the snail runner on the silicone mat because then you can pick up the glue. And I'm gonna just place this on this top corner. And then we're going to add the snail to the rest of these. It doesn't require a lot, so 
it just is so nice because you don't get glue everywhere this is terrific I just broke the snowflake but because it still has glue and nobody will know because we're going to cover this little centerpiece put that back on card making there are no mistakes nobody knows what we're doing what we did what it's supposed to look like so don't let yourself get all worried okay we'll just put this piece down here now what I did is I took some extra little glitter and if you don't have you know you can just use whatever you happen to have on hand but I made some glitter snowflakes I wanted to give this a little extra glitter in the center of these snowflakes so put that there and grab another one and you can also I don't know if you can see this on camera but when you have a little piece of tape a glue tape a piece from the tape you can still pick it up and use it as well okay one more little piece and we're almost done okay I'm gonna put this on this one get our little pieces out of the way and now the last thing we're going to do is add some glue to our little card and just what I'm doing is just adding little random dots everywhere because we're going to throw down some of my favorite glitter the dazzling diamonds I'm gonna dazzling diamond up this tree and then we're going to just take our dazzling diamonds and sprinkle it on the card And that, my friends, is our card. We are done. It was that easy. And so now, I hope you will go and make something uniquely yours. And thank you so much for watching. If you like the card, I hope you will give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my, to my um, YouTube site. And then click the bell if you want to be notified of any future cards that I make. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.